lads and welcome back to another review video today we are looking at the speedy b f405 version 4 bl heli s 60 amp 30 by 30 fc and esc <gasps> breathe this was kindly sent to me by speedy b uh, they didn't pay me for the review they won't see this review before the review goes live they have no editorial control over this review and all the thoughts feelings and emotions therefore are my own now onwards so the f4 version 4 is bdb's latest flight controller my friend jedi fpv link in the top right corner now if i remember to do it if i don't remember to do it jedi let me know so i can add it he had a drone built for him by a local master builder whose name shall remain on and jedi fpv was brand new to fpv drones what he doesn't have is a pc now i'm telling you this because we had to decide when we was building this how we deal with such challenges because obviously betafly is essential so not having a pc was going to be a real challenge for him so we looked at the available stacks on the market and we picked the speedy v speedy b version 3 and that served him really well and has had no problems he has owned it now for about 10 months so i was really excited when speedy b reached out and asked me if i'd like to take a look at the newest version of this stack and the reason i'm telling you this is purely down to the fact that this stack and others now but this was one of the first ones that did it solved a real problem for pilots who for whatever reason didn't have a pc the ability to be able to program beta flight without a pc or and I've done this myself because I do have Speedy B stacks in my own drones. If you're in the field and you want to change your rates or you've taken a different transmitter with you that has a different arm switch set up, you can just fire up your phone, load up the Bluetooth and change it there and then without having to carry a laptop with you. Or as has happened to me many times in the past, I've had to stop and come home and fix the issue and fly another day. So that is in my opinion one of the real key features of this stack speedy b do list other things though this state that it is a real 60 amp esc it has a dual gyroscope as well which is great because it makes it easier to filter and to tune it's got an onboard four level battery indicator so i'll try and synchronize the footage up now but that means that on the side of the flight controller each one of these lights represents 25 percent battery so obviously one is 25 two is 50 and four is you've got a fully charged battery it supports up to eight motors and also supports up to four led strips it's got a five volt and a nine volt X with an upgraded three amp output and one of the biggest issues with the previous one is it had sd card compatibility issues and i'm glad to say according to the the, the burb by speedy b and my own testing of course that, that seems to be fixed now it also allows you to change your esc settings on your phone as well which wasn't or previously was was a bit more of a challenge so you can change your motor directions etc it's got a, a 1000 capacitor built-in barometer and it's one of these types of boards where it's got plug and play sockets for the dji 03 air unit so if you're a pilot that doesn't like to solder and it's only going to fly dji and you've got a dji control you just plug it in and away you go no soldering is required however that said the soldering pads on the esc are lovely and big lovely and clean with nice gaps between them and the pads on the flight controller there's loads of them first of all but they're also quite big as well and quite easy to access you've got the directional arrow as well to make sure that you're pointing it in the right way and each pad is individually labeled on it as well because there are some higher end stacks that I do use and I, and I really, really like, but if I come to add something to it and I take the drone apart and I have a look at it and I can see on the pads, oh wait, it's not marked. So then I've got to go and find the, the user manual. Not all, but a lot of companies like to make revisions to, to their flight controllers. So you're looking at, you might, I'm not going to name names because it's not fair, but th there are a certain company that releases the same flight controller every year, but just with a different number after it changes the pads around and making sure you get the right user manual is a nightmare it sounds really simple but this particular manufacturer when you click on the right one sometimes it will actually download a different user manual 
So, yeah, I'm not going to name them, but it's not Speedy B. <laughs> so, features of the flight controller. We have a built-in barometer. We have an SD card slot, which will support up to four gigabyte of black box data login. Black box data login takes up a really small space. So if you've got a four gigabyte SD card in there, you will be able to log and log and log for probably months, to be honest, depending on how much you fly, obviously. We've got a dedicated DJI Air unit connector for a quick digital build. We've got a five volt and a nine volt dual back, which has now both been upgraded to three amps. We've got four UARTs, so you can have your VTX, your receiver, your camera, your GPS. Basically what I'm saying is, you've got enough UARTs to build a really good build. Now a really good feature that I really like about this is for the GPS, we've got a 4.5 volt output. Now what does that mean? Well, if you solder your flight controller power lead to this 4.5, it means that you don't have to sit there with a lipo heating every single one of your components up waiting for a connection what you can do is you can either take a power bank or even your phone to the field plug it into the usb that will power the flight controller which will in turn power the gps so your quad can be sat there with either a power bank phone or whatever as a, as a little power portable power source and it will get its gps data you unplug that, plug your lipo in, and instantly you're ready to go without sitting on the ground, eating everything up. I can't begin to tell you how much of a great thing that is, especially if you're in a situation where it's really hot or you don't necessarily want to have it sat on the ground, baking away for whatever reason. You can just plug this in and away you go. The front of the flight controller is also cut out for FPV cameras as well, so you can get your wires in there, you can lean your camera back, Stuff's not going to be crunched in as it is with other flight controllers. So what's included in the box? Well, you've got your F4 version 4 flight controller. You've got a very nice, really sexy 60 amp ESC, which is BLLES. And I'll come on to what that means in a minute. But it's also got a really nice heat shield on top of it as well. So you've got a pre-soldered xt60 lead at one end and you've got a pre-tinned wires at the other end so that's going to make soldering this really simple and straightforward for you unless you need to shorten them in which case don't forget to retin them you've got your capacitor you've got your screws you've got grommets you've got your, your nylon nuts a few washers a few things and then you've got things how good am i and you've got your cables, so you've got the connector between the flight controller and the ESC, and then you've got your connector for your DJI and a few others for a few ancillary things as well. So generally speaking, there should be everything in the box that you will need. Grab yourself an SD card and start logging your black box data, especially if you're a newbie. It will help experienced pilots diagnose any issues that you've got. So this is a full video. And as with every full video, I promise that I will give the members a shout out. Big shout out to Barry Morgan FPV for being our member. If you want to join him on that bench, go ahead, join him, and you'll get a shout out in every full video. If I've earned a sub, comment, like, or share from you today, then I would really appreciate that. If I haven't, that's absolutely fine. I'll keep bringing this content to you. I'll keep bringing the unique fly throughs to you. I'll keep bringing the tutorials to you. And maybe one day I'll learn that from you. Now let's get back to the video. And as always, once we get to this point in the video, the question is, should you buy it? And the very simple answer to this is an absolute no brainer, yes. It's $75, which at current exchange rate is probably about 50 quid in English money. And for that, you're getting a BL Heli S 60 amp ESC with heat shield. Now it's BL Heli S, some people may turn their nose up at that. However, BL Heli S means that you can adjust your settings and update your firmware. You can flash Blue J and you will have a better experience than BL Heli 32 now. The reason you'll have a better experience is because you can actually update and keep things safe, unlike with BL Heli. 32S. Sorry, BL Heli 32. I don't know where the S came from. 
you're getting a flight controller whereby you can make adjustments on your phone in the field without having to carry a laptop or potentially having to go home. You've got a minimum of four UARTs. You've got a USB-C connector built into the board. You've got a battery checker on the board. I mean, you've got a potentially a four gigabyte black box log, which is probably one of the biggest ones out there, I think, if you use a four gigabyte card, of course. You've got a dual gyro. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on and on for $75. And just as I'm reading through this, it also says that the DJI Air unit plug is compatible, completely compatible with DJI 03, run cam, blah, blah, blah. No wire is needed to be changed. When I assisted Jedi FPV with his build, we had to change the SBUS wire because it just wouldn't work unless the SBUS wire was removed and soldered direct to a pad. So that's really good news. That really does help. So it really is a no-brainer. If you're building a five-inch quad in 2024 for 50 bucks, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, what can be improved? Could it be an F7? Yeah. Does that really matter? No. I'm thinking, is BL Heli S, could it be AT32? Yes. Does that really matter? No. I've got quads with F4s and BL Heli S ESCs. They fly just as good as my other quads. They really do. This has all the additional features to make life easier, to make life better, to make life more straightforward. Sure, I might have better specced flight controllers, but if something goes wrong, I've got to come home with this. I don't need to come home. I don't need to carry a battery checker because it's got one built in. I can change the ESC settings on my phone. This really is a no-brainer. Now, I will have included flight footage on here as well. There is going to be an affiliate link down below. I would recommend if you're building a 5-inch or larger because it recommends that this will go up to like 7-inch or 10-inch actually and up to 8 motors. If you're building anything like that, this is a no-brainer to buy. You'd be, you'd be mad to buy anything else. You've all been amazing. I've been Quads and until next time, peace!